Hi all, this video we are going to discuss about some of the blue prism certification terms. Here you can see the order collection. It will it started with start loop and end stages. And order it's coming from row one row one of three that is three rows that saved quantity data is zero so when you seeing about the order collection contains the following data so when you see that order number thousand one is one four and thousand two is five and thousand three is one this is the three orders when you talk about saved quantity Saved quantity data item is configured as a number with the default value as 0. So when you see about the loop order, stage is configured as follows. Here you can see the loop order. This is the loop order. And get quantity. The fourth, another one is get quantity. Loop order is collection and order only. When we talk about get quantity, saved quantity plus order quantity. So, what will the data item saved quantity contain after the execution of the page? After this page completed, how or what is the value of the data item in saved quantity so it's a 4 or 5 or 1 okay so when you talk about saved quantity it's it's a row of 3 okay order 1 to order 3 so you have to see saved quantity plus order quantity so our correct answer is d 10 4 plus 5 plus 1 Saved quantity is 0. So the total is 10. In a blue prism work you, what is the symbol? When you talk about symbol, the man, and what is the flag, V5? Simple represent. The symbol of man and the symbol of flag. So the case, uh, there are four answers they given. The, ca the case is been worked successfully. The case has encountered an error. Case is currently being worked and waiting to be worked. Correct answer is the, that is encountered error and needs to be looked by an operator. So when you, when you see the man or else uh, small simple up uh, uh, simple in that case it it's encountered an error that needs to be looked by an operator this is a simple of exception see when we talk about uh, process studio this is the next question the next four questions see here you can see the diagram is an extract the process being tested in process studio the diagram is count rows. If any risk happens, then it's going to get TW to risk. And if it is no risk, then probably it will go to another stage. So current stage is highlighted. The properties of the current stages are follows. When you see that the load risk TW1 is a current stage, this is the properties of the current stage. There is input, nothing output nothing there are no breakpoints configured in the process what will be the effect of pressing the step over or f down button so there is four options if you give the step over or f down button what will happen this is the question there is they have given the four answers a b c d 
so what would be the correct answer the answer b is correct the process b the process will execute all the stages in the load risk tw1 page and move on to the get tw2 risk calculation stage where it will pass yes if you give the step over this is the behavior so when we talk about step over the process will execute all the stages in road load risk tw1 that is the current stage without showing the movements in that base it will pass at the get table tw2 risk correlation stage so what will be the next question the flag item called stop as soon as possible is configured within the process the flag data item there is requirement that this data can be amended by a user in control room while the process is running what exposure should be given to the stop as soon as possible data item so there is four exposures the correct answer is session how while running a process in control room session variable for the process can be modified session you can you can modify the session variable that other variables environment or statistics variable you can't modify it when running a particular process in the control room so when we talk about the next question which of the following items should not go inside your black so they are given the four symbols a b c d uh, correct answer is answer a the black stage black block within the block will not happened in the blue prism so that is the re that is the correct answer so the next one is how many outbound links for decision stage if you have decision stage how many outbound links you can option a 1 option b 2 option 3 3 correct answer is b 2 there is two outbound links in decision stage one is yes and another is no how the decision has two outbound links if the result of a decision is true it takes one direction if the result is false it takes the other you can see the two decisions the next question is the image they given the image so what is the problem you can see in that image so image gets retry limit and retry count resume count uh, resume has and recover has inside the block for the problem stage so what is the problem do you see with the process you can see any retry limit or missing recover or missing resume or missing link what is the problem you can see answer answer is C the problem is there is a missing resume stage on one of the routes through the flow correct see when we talk about recover and resume it it should be the same block otherwise there uh, it would be there is a missing resume stage it will happen on it okay guys how it will possible the recover and resume or resume or stages used to attempt to salvage and move on from an exception when we see the recover and resume both need to move out the exception the recovery stage acts like a magnet suppose think about exceptions exceptions are drawn to it and the diagram flow will jump from the exception point to the recovery stage when blue prisms is on the path between a recover and resume is said to be a recovery mode so when we talk about what is recovery mode if blue prism is on the path between a recover and resume recover and resume it is a path then it should be the recovery mode if it is in different path that is not recovery mode and one more thing is a resume stage neutralize the exception but does not fix the problem 
resume stage will not fix the problem one of the first the resume stage the exception is effectively gone and the diagram can continue its normal flow by default a page only uses one recovery stage and any others will be redundant only one recovery stage any others will be redundant what would be the next question how many start stages can sub page in a process have how many zero or one or two answer is b only one okay guys thanks for watching this we can learn more things in our next video bye